probably did something bad. Kane. His name is Kane. Okay. Hey, Kane. <laughs> Whoa. What did Kane do? A real bad thing. So he never stopped wandering. Yep. Sorry there, Dutch. Ain't that interesting. Can I help you there? Sure. We're supposed to be my business partners here. Arranged a meeting, I believe, about some horses. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican. Yes, sir. Out by the stables. Thank you. Have a wonderful day now. What's going on, guys? My name is Gamerman. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. We're going to go check up on some horses. My partner, Arthur Morgan. No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. Hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaite's? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you 5,000. 5,000 for horses? Easy. Where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Hell over there, we'll run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbreds. Look, we want to help and all, Mr. Gray, but $5,000 horses? We ain't fools. Don't you dare question me, boy. Just do the job or I'll find someone else who will. I mean, I have to agree. $5,000 horses. Sean, we're planning on going over to the Braithwaite's. You haven't yeah. seen them? No, not yet. If they're there already, they better keep their heads down. We don't need this to be any more complicated than it already is. $5,000 for horses. We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But, if we get even a third of that, be worth it. So how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded, so there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should 
go in the back way, though. Boy, too many questions. Careful. There's a guard. I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. A partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. But perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay, then. Let's... Head on up to the stables. Someone will come see you. All right. Five thousand. <laughs> God damn it. Better be the best horse ever. and easy. No need to rush. Don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. Alright. I think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down. Play cool. We'll head around the front. Hitch up there. Hitch up here. Let me do the talk. Hello there. Can I help you boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs. Looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. If that's what you're interested in. What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. That so? Unofficially. Of course. This here is Cerberus. Here you go, boy. Cerberus is a real reliable stud. Fathered many a race winner. This one's a... Uh... Oh. Damn. Uh-huh. Greaser, huh? Okay. Bandana's on. Oh yeah, good idea. Don't need nobody recognizing us. All right, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. <laughs> Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Easy, easy. Now. easy. easy. <laughs> Marshal, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Oh, Jesus. Go, get out of here. I got... What the hell are you doing? Uh, shooting you, buddy. Got him. 
back here. Let's go. That was great timing by me. Over here. You got it. Well done. Lemon's Cove is just over there. Come on. Let's get this over with. Could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. <laughs> you think they look like they're paying five thousand for horses? I guess we'll see. Approach the rustler. Hello. you boys want heard you was uh, heard you pay good prices for horses oh we'll buy more or less anything pop that's so sure pop i'm clay davies that's my brother clive we're twins john arthur javier so what are you cuban no i don't like cuban that so? Maybe. Why, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Woo, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you... I can give you 654. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the boom was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. You're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. All right, you goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got five thousand dollars, boys. But <laughs> nice meeting you. See you boys again, I hope. Come on, yeah. Close the gate. Clock. That's bullshit. Leave the yarn spun us by one of that great family. Imagine we was gonna be wonderfully rich. At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. Damn, I got gold on that. Let's go. We still got Hosea to do, but let things cool down for a little bit. We just robbed the brave weights. Arthur, Arthur. 
What now? You sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease-ridden, swampy, Dixie-whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. I'm not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. Until we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So, I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. All righty, Charles. Charles, I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. Mr. Trelawney. Where are we going? Dutch wants us to have a talk with Trelawney about these bounty hunters who are coming for us. Hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Okay. And you're deputies now. Something like that. As <laughs> soon as we laid eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs that town, I knew Dutch was gonna play him like a fiddle. On the run from one bunch of lawmen, working for another. Interesting. Hiding in plain sight, Dutch calls it. <laughs> hmm. So, the spirits seem good. In the new camp, I mean. We got some space between us and that mess now. I ain't seen no more Pinkertons for a while. There's these bounty hunters, of course, but... Hey, wait for me! Jesus. Why are you riding off on me? I ain't. You got lost. You were saying, before you disappeared on me? There's these bounty hunters, of course, but... Dutch don't seem too worried about it. Someone got here first. So it seems. By the looks of things, it wasn't a social call. Air pump made. The house. This food's barely touched. Looks like he left in a hurry. You see anything there? Tacitus Kilgore Mining Company. What do you think? Nothing. I saw a clue. Oh, there it is. There's some blood here. That ain't good. Oh yeah, that is pretty bad. Big struggle. Pretty recently, I'd say. Look, I guess maybe uh, twelve hours Come ago. On. But no body. Not yet. Twelve hours ago. Shit. Come on, boy. Hmm. They went down the path here. How's it? Oh, I see it. These days. All right, I guess. <laughs> Lead the way, then. Not the kind of place I'd expect to see Trelawney stay in it. No? Normally scams himself into the best hotel in town. You know, when me and Javier went down with Trelawney to get Sean, after the bar fight, I swear, he talked the whole way and never actually said a damn thing. Arthur! I can see the tracks right here! Oh. 
Oh, I got confused. I was too busy listening to the conversation. Oops. Mm -hmm. This way, Arthur. Ha! They could be 20 miles away by now. We can track them that far if we need to. Depends on how much you want to find them. Yeah. I still ain't sure about that. See? They must have crossed over the tracks. These tracks lead into the forest here. Hey, look. Let's go see what those fellas have to say. Oh. What's wrong, Arthur? Where are these guys here we need to talk to? Excuse me. Yeah. Have you seen them? <clears throat> we're, uh, we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. Ah, <laughs> uh, you seen a strange sort of feller? Sort of formal? Strange? Sure. Formal? Nah. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Yeah. All right, you two. Where the hell is he? You both better get out of here. Come in. Come on. You gotta hit harder than that. You wanna come at me? You stay there. Twenty four dollars. Holy shit. These guys are rich. It's Trelawney. I don't know anything. Tell me where he is. You go to hell. You better tell me now, you son of a bitch. Okay. Okay, for Christ's sake. They took him to a cabin. Over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left. Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. They'll be down a while. All right, that should do it. Twenty. Damn, these guys are rich. Come on, let's go. All right, let's go. Follow me. I think there's a way around, so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite's place. Yes, I've spent enough time there. After you, then. Yeah. You okay? <clears throat> I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. It just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. He don't know how not to talk. <clears throat> he don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Oh, it's disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses, and, well, loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? Yeah, kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. Just got a big mouth. Don't worry. If he talked, I'll goddamn find out what he said. Nothing's ever straightforward where Trelawney's involved. Learn that much. I mean, how much time have we wasted getting this fool out of trouble? He somehow manages to be both lucky and unlucky at the same time. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. But he always finds some way to pay us back. Just when we think about cutting him loose, he brings us something big. I guess that's a special talent. Keeping fish on the line. Whoa! Let's get you out of here. Come on, boy. Oh, the thing shit. Is, after that sack, this will be remembered like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. Is that the lot of them? I, I think so. Uh, so you're uh, alive. Allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't be for much longer. Okay, go get them, Arthur. I can handle this. Don't deal with them, my brother. Don't let them get away. Could have
told them anything. They've gone into the cornfield. We need to flush them out. Bro, what is wrong with this camera? Got him. Let's make this quick. I'm this man. Where are you? Twenty three dollars. Dollars again? Where? All over there? Look down the fields. Oh, what the hell is that? What is that? Yeah, I found it already. He's dumped his gear. Look around. He can't have gone far. Yeah, I was just looking around. Oh, shit. He's mine. Let me take him. Let me get out of here. You have my friend. He's not your friend. I'll give you money. Come on. He, he should have taken the money. I know. I'm a fool. Oh, shit. Thank you. Oh, that guy was bro. Oh, shit. That's cool. You all right? Yeah. Never goes easy, does it? Sure don't. Come on. Let's go see how badly they beat up the slippery feller. I wonder I've gotten like $200. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. We'll soon find out. Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. Our luck's held this long. We got out of worse scrapes than this one. So I heard. <laughs> sure. What's government agents and bounty hunters to us? That is a nice looking rifle. You okay? Yeah. Never finer. So, who was they? They were bounty hunters. Uh, attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me. No. What you tell him? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon. Looking for a job at the university. Of course, they didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep here. It might be best if I stay with you gentlemen for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay.
There always seems to be more. More and more civilization. I want to get back in the open country of the West, or what's left of it, but well, even that ain't the way I remember it. Oh, well, I sucked on that one. <laughs> Alrighty, well, I'm going to end this video here, guys. If you guys liked this video, make sure to subscribe. Leave comments in the section below. Turn on my notifications. Check out my YouTube shorts. And as always, guys, I will see you back here for the next episode of Red Dead Redemption.